Today I've got for you the dumbest smart speaker that you just gotta have. The Edifier MS50A. Nickel knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nickel knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. Now the M50A by Edifier is their entry into the smart speaker realm. And while there's a lot of talk about this, it's a bit on the dumb side. However, there's some features about this speaker that make it truly special. Now while I get this out of the box, go ahead and check out our sponsor. Do all of your friends call you a loser for using a sus copy of Windows? Then stop being a zero and get ready to be a hero by getting a valid copy of Windows 10. With all the bells and whistles a future superstar like you needs, you might be thinking to yourself, Eh, Pro Edition costs $200, see? No. If you follow the link in the description to VIPCDKDeals.com, you can get yourself a Windows 10 Professional Edition for $22.50. Wow! You think that's great? Well, if you use coupon code NK25, you get 30% off. That brings the price of Windows 10 Professional to $15. Wow! All major payment methods accepted, including PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Once you have your license key, open Settings, then System, About, then Change Product Key. Simply copy and paste your new key and then click next and then you are Gucci, my friend. You know, I never really understood the naming of their speakers. I've reviewed the 1280Ts, the MR4s, and they have 1280DBs. These are the MS50A, so I don't really understand the model numbers. I'm sure there's a purpose behind it, but I do like the name Edifier. It almost sounds like the name of a, a bass guitar player for a hair metal band, Edifier. Okay, so the construction we'll go over first. Now my first impressions are is that this is very high quality. I really like the all wood finish. This is real wood and it's finished nice. We also have a good fit and finish along the whole product. On the top and bottom we do have this high quality plastic. We do have rubber feet on the bottom which is a, a big deal. Uh, edifiers didn't tend to put out decent base and you don't want this dancing around on the table because this thing can be placed around. You can put it on like a pedestal. You can put it on a counter, bookshelf of course because this is kind of a bookshelf style design. On the top Top. We have our Edifier logo, of course. We also have our control wheel. There's some piano black finish here. This is all touch sensitive. Play, pause, next song, and previous song. We also have a mode button here, which I'll get into shortly. And then, of course, our power button on here. On the bottom, we also have our place where we plug in our cable. We do have to plug this into the wall at all times. It's not rechargeable. This is a powered speaker, but the way you connect to it is by Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And you can do that over AirPlay, um, Amazon Music, um, through Alexa, um, even Spotify. And I'll get into all of that shortly. Now, I really do love the aesthetic just as it is, but like a lot of Edifier products, you can actually pull off this cover and it will reveal, if I can take it off, <laughs> Okay, that was easy. Okay, that it looks just like studio monitors. We also have our front, front base port here. Um, we have our silk dome tweeter up here, and we also have our mid-range driver right here. Overall, I think this is a really cool looking design, and a lot of you guys might want to have this setting up on the bookshelf or on the table or uh, on some accent tables just like this, and you'd be perfectly uh, within, um, within reason to do that because it actually looks nice like this. Um, for me, since this is not going to be used in my computer or my studio, it's going to be used in my living room, maybe on the side of two couches, because yes, you can connect two of them and get this. Edifier did send me two of them, so we're going to actually be able to pair these and actually play them through multiple rooms or put them on left and right, and you can have them set to where this is the right channel, this is the left channel, or you can reverse them depending on how you're listening to them. And I think that's really cool, and we'll control that all with the app. And since we have two of the units, since we have two of the units here, like I said, we can pair these together to where they're stereo channels, where this one might be facing me and I want this to be my right channel or this to be my left channel, or it might be behind me and I want this to be my right and this to be my left, or whichever way configured for you. You just switch that through the app, which I'll show you. And then also you could have this paired in two different rooms. You could have this one plugged in upstairs. You could have this one plugged in in the kitchen or wherever. And you can be listening to the music throughout your house because you have two units. Let's go ahead and power these babies on and we can go ahead and see how they sound. We can just plug it in right here. There's a little place to plug in and then we can feed the cable through. And we're not doing any movie magic here. If it's hard for me to do, then it might be hard for you to do. Okay, that was pretty simple. Wow, there's no click or anything telling me it's all the way in. It's just plug it in and feeds through here and then we can lay it flat. Okay, that's cool. We have a little indicator that's powering on. All right, let's go ahead and plug in the other one. 
Now that they're both powered on, it actually said in setup mode, follow the instructions on your device's companion app to continue. So I'm downloading the app. A few moments later. Now to get a first impression of how they sound, I'm going to be playing my own tracks over Spotify, through Wi-Fi, through both of the speakers. I have one facing towards me and one facing away from me because I want to see how just one sounds and then I'll face both of them to me and see how they sound in both left and right channel. First impression, wow, the bass is very rich. It's warm, it's not real punchy, but it is very present. Um, it's very room-filling sound. I have them kind of in a near-field kind of distance from me, but I can kind of tell that these like to give a warm environment. Uh, the details are all there. I really like the way the Silk Dome tweeter is performing. The purpose of a Silk Dome tweeter, as opposed to like a hard material like titanium or iron or metal, um, is to soften the treble to where it's not harsh and it does a really good job it has a nice um high powered presence these are 40 watts each so they're 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 pretty powerful for their size um overall i really like the the way the vocals come through despite the uh a little bit boosted bass it's not uh they're not bass head speakers they just they have a real nice warm uh, low end. The treble is nice in there. The mids, this is a little bit V-shaped, so the mids are a little bit recessed, um, but you would expect that on a more mainstream speaker, and overall I do like it how it sounds. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one around and face them both towards me, and we can see how they both operate in both channels. I have this one going into my left channel right now. All right, now I have both of them facing me. I'm going to be playing them in left and right channel and they're full in full stereo. I'm going to put them a little bit louder, and I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to see how they sound now. Wow, um, that's a really good sound. Uh, like I said, when I had them, when I have them both uh, to me, they still have that really warm low end. That's not so bassy. It doesn't bloom over all the other frequencies. Um, the the treble is definitely has its own channel. I know that the wad just split between the two drivers. So uh, these sound really good. They um, they're they're not audiophile hi-fi uh, speakers necessarily. I mean, they would please a lot of audiophiles because of the way that they they reproduce the sound, but it's they just sound like a good set of speakers. And when they're together like that, um, you really do have the panning left and right. What's supposed to be coming out of the right channel does come correctly out of the right channel. And then when things were supposed to pan, uh, they do that correctly. Overall, they, they sound really good, and I'm really excited to kind of Put these. I'm, I'm moving to another. We're moving to another house, another country, and I'm really looking forward to bringing these and putting them up in my living room, maybe on both sides of the couch. And these kind of blend in with furniture because they just they they look so mainstream. They're gonna blend in and just look nice, even if we're not using them. And then we want to listen to music, you know, just power these babies on and play over Alexa or over Spotify or whatever. And I think they're going to impress my friends because these aren't some big atrocious speakers that are there to where you're expecting it. It's just these little things there that are, I think are going to surprise people. And I think if you pick these up, you can pick them up in the link in the description. I think you'll be surprised at how nice they sound without being overpowering, distracting with the trebles. It's nice and smooth. Um, it's just going to make everything sound correct. Um, and you can't even get loud. Since these are 40 watt, yeah, they'll get loud. Um, I was playing them a, a bit loud. I would want to overpower the room. Um, but these would do really well, even in a, a medium to to slightly large side room. Um, if you're just going to have these in one room or maybe have them on your nightstand, you know, you could actually get away with just one because they're actually pretty powerful. Adding a second one just adds that extra 
extra oomph there that makes them truly room filling. And also, if you're like me and you're a stereo nut, I gotta have both channels. I don't want to just listen to to just one um, unless I have to. Um, but that's just me being picky. I mean, if, I, if someone just gave me this for Christmas, I'd be like, wow, that's an awesome Bluetooth speaker. So overall, these definitely do get a big thumbs up for me. I really do like the MS50As. I think these are a winner. The reason that they're stupid is is that you talk to them and say, hey, Alexa, play music. Nothing. They're not listening at all. Um, so yeah, they're smart because they can be played over Wi-Fi, but that's not really smart. But at the same time, this is a lot better for privacy because these things aren't listening to you. So that's kind of a pro uh, because there's all kinds. There's a whole rabbit hole of privacy we can go down there. But overall, these are a winner. I'm really thank you for Edifier for sending these to me, and also thank you for sending two of them to me because that was a really big deal as far as being able to show that to you. Because if I just say, "Hey, this is a great speaker," it'd be really cool if we had two, and I don't know how it's gonna perform, but hey, maybe buy two because I don't know how they'd perform. That just really wouldn't work out. So I really did ask Edifier, "Hey, if I'm gonna do this, send me two because you're all marketing it as being able to pair two of them, and I want to be able to show people how they do for both." So anyway. Hope this worked out for you. If you like this review, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and also support me on Patreon. And I will see you next time.